In this video, let's see the another operation on matrix which was multiplication by scalar which is also called as scalar multiplication. We have already seen few operations of matrices like addition and subtraction and whatever we were seeing we were just putting the tick mark on it. Now we are seeing multiplication by scalar. Let me put the tick mark and then let's get started with what is known as scalar multiplication. Now scalar multiplication is as the name suggests that you will be given a matrix and that matrix will be multiplied by a scalar quantity. Multiplying a matrix by a scalar quantity means what? That you have to multiply each element of that given matrix with that scalar quantity. If still not understood, let's see the theoretical approach and then we'll see an example or an illustration for the same. Now, let A is equal to Aij be a matrix and that matrix has a given order say m by n. That means what? That means m rows, n columns. And now, I also have the information that I have a scalar which is called as k. k is just a simple constant scalar. And that scalar when multiplied by my given matrix, that means k into A is what? That you have to multiply each element Aij with k. That's it. Still not understood. Let's see the example. The example for that I take a matrix, say given to me is a matrix A and that matrix is something like this. What is the order? There are how many rows? There are two rows and three columns. So it is a two by three matrix. Now, if given to me is a scalar three and I have to compute three of A. Now I am supposed to find out three of A. One thing one should keep it in mind, multiplying by a scalar does not change the order. Remember there was m by n earlier, there is m by n here also. That means the order remains same. So if it is 2 by 3 here, it will remain 2 by 3 here only. That means 2 rows, 3 columns. Now, what is the scalar? 3 is the scalar. That means you have to multiply the whole matrix A by that constant scalar 3. So multiplying 3 by 1 is giving me 3. Multiplying 3 by 2 is giving me 6. 3 3 za is what? 3 3 za is 9. First row is completed. Similarly, now you can go about completing the second row. 3 5 za 15. 3 6 za 18. So it is 15 and 18. And last but not the least element is what? 3 8 za 24. So that means what? That means if I need to multiply by a scalar quantity, I don't need to disturb myself much because the order is same. Suppose we take another example for your convenience. Example is a matrix given to me which is B. The matrix is a column matrix. So it has how many rows? It is given to me that it has two rows. So it is two rows and one column. Now I am supposed to find out what? I am supposed to find out say 2 by 4 of B. Now 2 by 4 of B means what? 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. So it is half of B that I am supposed to find out. Why I have taken this example? Just to say you that it is not always that the scalar quantity will not be a fractional quantity or will not be having numerator and denominator both. It can have both numerator and denominator. But you don't need to worry. Half of B means what? Wherever the elements are there. This is 6. So 6 has to be multiplied by the scalar. Half into 6 is what? 3. And what about the next thing? The next thing is H. Again, half into 8 is what? 4. So that is my answer is 3 by 4, which is 2 rows and 1 column. Again, beware. The order was 2 by 1. The order is 2 by 1. So in this video, what did we see? We saw the scalar multiplication concept. We know that whenever a given scalar is given to me, I have to multiply by the matrix. That means each element to be multiplied, keeping the order intact.